Episode 57. What's up, ladies and gentle dudes? Well, that wasn't very surprising, was it? Almost to be expected when you see a roundabout clip, right? Then let's get a little more special. How about completely missing the right side of the road? He seemed almost panicking when he realized what he did. There was already some potential for danger, but a lot more so when some douchebag gets the brilliant idea to reverse on the freeway when having missed the exit. Why are there no cops when you need them? Our camera driver here certainly didn't ask for them, but there they are. For real? It's passiert? Hmm, let's see how much shit is about to hit the fan. Moin. Moin. Soll ich einmal hier rechts rein? Bitte? Soll ich einmal hier rechts rein? Okay. Du bist mal mitgemacht, warum wir sie angehalten haben, aber das klären wir jetzt. Okay, gut. <laughs> they don't know why they stopped him? Well, now if this isn't unusual. What was that? Well, an idea I have is that our camera may have been driving a car model that law enforcement was searching for. They checked it, realized it was legit, and didn't waste any unnecessary time of our man. <laughs> oh, now that is a special view, isn't it? I like it. Yeah, sure, who cares that you're exceeding the speed limit in bad weather conditions. Also analyzing road markings and trees, the guy was at least going 30 kph too fast. We don't need to argue that this other driver should not have been moving out, totally ignoring us, but it's pretty clear that if the camera driver would not have been exceeding the speed limit, this situation would have probably not ended up in this dangerous fashion. Going 130 kph instead of 100 results in a 60% longer braking distance. And we are not even accounting for the slippery road conditions here. You always gotta remember the simple truth. Speed is the number one cause for accidents on the road, many of which are deadly. Also, this guy is driving with an illuminated red light in his dashboard. Who does that? Can somebody tell me which light is on there so that we can talk about the condition of his vehicle? Watch those lights, the turn light stays red. We all don't like middle lane crawlers, but this guy here seems to be on a mission. Despite an empty left lane, he goes for a right pass, squeezing in between car and truck. I guess he had a true desire to show the red car what's up. Ah, eh, roundabout. Oh, what might happen? The professional is among us. Still, his violation might be accidental. The other guy here is already lifting his hand as an apology before even entering the roundabout, WTF? Sag mal, bist du noch ganz normal? And here comes your daily dose of stupid passing. Not only in a blind corner, but also in a corner before a hilltop. All fun and games until the last thing you see is a pair of white lights. Part of your daily dose of idiocy is also to pass cyclists in a pointless and incompetent fashion, isn't it? Most car drivers never ride bicycles and don't have an understanding that they are not as slow as they think. So these specialists here are achieving absolutely nothing but only blocking off the cyclists. They should drive with a sticker on their car that says, I only care about myself. Another beautiful display of ignorance and incompetence that does involve a few more wheels than ones of bicycles is when people don't even reach 100 kph on the freeway but need to take the left lane instantly. What the f*** are you doing on the left lane now? Ich mach den Bann. 
People like to be arguing, anybody who can be passed on the right violated his own duty to drive right, but as this clip here shows nicely, that certainly isn't always the case. Some mofos are just that impatient that they want to be in front of anybody, even if there is a million other cars in front of them that they can't pass. Can somebody tell me why this person suddenly slowed down when entering the main road? Made our driver emergency stopping for absolutely no reason. It's so annoying. His proper reactions prevented the crash, but also he was a little too fast. Remember this earlier clip where I was mentioning this? In that case here, 63 kph instead of 50 already means 50% longer braking distance. Mm-hmm. Still going with the same guy, and Karma is giving him a hint now. Hopefully he'll learn something, a point on his license and 135 bucks to pay. Little quiz, you seem to be wrong and want to turn around. With a roundabout right ahead, what do you do? You surely go for the more complicated solution, easy is for pussies. Hello there! I am on the way picking up my car because I need to go places in the way I am used to, so please don't bother me with the direction I have to go in roundabouts. Thanks, mate! <laughs> Cutting us off and sliding out onto the turn lane of oncoming traffic, this driver did absolutely everything right! Any appeals? Great, so this guy receives even more thumbs up. Uh... Impatient drivers are everywhere, and you can be sure to find them whenever a twin lane road turns into a single lane road. And if there are trucks around, they will put on their show. Are you guys living in a town or a city? Do you like driving there? Due to my experience, I personally have no issue with it, but in general, driving in cities is more stressful because of things like trams. You're supposed to give right of way to trams, but many people don't know that and so accidents happen. There are some interesting videos out there where some stupid drivers almost drove right into a moving tram. One thing certainly counts for any driver anywhere in the world. You need to be properly aware of your surroundings. That way you will recognize beforehand if you may be getting close to hitting something. It will also give you a better ability to make space for emergency vehicles. Driving is a complex matter and these videos show you that so much in so many places is done wrong. This video has fulfilled its purpose now, pick another one from the playlist here and see ya in a few days.